Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we are going to explore the fascinating world of solar eclipses and uncover the physics behind this amazing celestial event. But first we must ask ourselves why is the 2024 solar eclipse so special? Let's find out. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, casting a shadow on the earth's surface. This mesmerizing phenomenon captivates people around the world as they witness the sun being partially or completely obscured by the moon. The alignment of the sun, moon and earth must be precise for a solar eclipse to occur, making it a rare and magical event. There are three main types of solar eclipses, total, partial and annular. A total solar eclipse occurs when the moon completely blocks out the sun revealing the sun's outer atmosphere known as the corona. A partial solar eclipse occurs when only a portion of a sun is covered by the moon creating a stunning crescent shape in the sky. An annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon is at the farthest point from the earth creating a ring of fire effect around the edges of the sun. The physics behind a solar eclipse is truly a marvel of nature. When the moon blocks out the sunlight, it creates a shadow on earth known as the umbra. Within the umbra, the sunlight is completely blocked, creating a temporary darkness on earth. The size of the shadow and the duration of the eclipse depend on the distances between the sun, moon and earth as well as the size of the moon's shadow. On April 8, 2024, the new moon covered 100% of the sun's disk as viewed from the narrow path of totality that is scratched from Sinaloa, Mexico through the US to Newfoundland, Canada. The path of totality was 100 to 123 miles wide and within this path, a totally eclipsed sun was visible. Totality could last twice as long as in 2017, depending on the observer's location, making it the longest totality on land from over a decade. All of North America and Central America experienced a solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. For most of that region, the spectacle was solely a partial solar eclipse, though of varying obscuration. This accessibility made it a major event, drawing eclipse chasers from around the world to visit the path of totality. NASA scientists took full advantage of the eclipse to collect data and study the Earth, Moon and Sun in different ways. One area of specific interest was the sun's corona or outer atmosphere which could be viewed during a solar eclipse in a very special way. Total solar eclipses are relatively rare events and the next total solar eclipse visible across the contiguous United States won't occur until August 2044. This rarity added to the specialness of the 2024 solar eclipse. The 2024 solar eclipse was special due to its path of totality, duration and the scientific opportunities it presented for researchers. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.